I should have had another one in my bag. Yeah, that's my guy, bro. Oh, okay. Against this woman to be joined to this man. On behalf of John Eric Smith, father of Jasmine Smith, I, the grandfather, Ronald Petrow, father of John Smith, with great honor, it gives me a pleasure to hand him. Matrimony, my granddaughter, to Jim. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You may be seated. Uh, could you kindly uh, just stand facing each other? Uh, 
as for the woman, it's still that submit yourself to your husband as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. His body in which he is the Savior now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in every way. And vice versa, the husband always loves, no matter what. And, uh, you know, everyone right here standing and sitting with us this evening wants to see your marriage succeed because they love and believe in you. So I'm asking you, the friends of Jasmine and Daryl, 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 to consider making a promise between you and the Lord, to remember to support them along the way, because nearly every relationship is tested at one point or the other by conflict, temptations, strife, and unwelcome changes. But, they, but you as a community, you can love them. As a family, you can love them. As friends, you can always be there for them, uh, comforting them along the way, giving them good advice, making sure that they, they are not there to fight one another, but they are always there to share their love as a commitment unto the Lord. And for me, as a man of God, I charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be found in mutual considerations, patience, kindness, confidence, and affection. It is the duty of each to find the greatest joy in the company of the other. To remember that it, it is the interest of the affection that you are able to join and be united and become strong and just do what God has allowed you to do as a man and woman, as strong as able. And um, at this point, I know there's no one here that has any objection for you to marry her and you to be a wife. And as such, I would ask you to hold her hand. And do you take her? As you take her hand, you, as you hold her hand, I, do you believe? that you want her to be the true and wedded wife. Do you solemnly promise before God and this witness is that you shall love, cherish, honor, protect her, to forsake all others for the sake, for her sake, to cling to her and to her only until death do you apart? Say, I do. And for you. As you hold his hand, do you, do you as well hold his hand and promise that you shall be true to her, to him as a wedded husband? Do you solemnly promise before God and this witness to love, to cherish, honor, protect him as well, and to forsake all others and to cling unto him and him alone forever until death do your part? So repeat after me. I take thee, Jasmine, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward as Christ loved the church. I am willing to love and cherish, honor and provide, and protect you in joy, in sickness, and even in sorrow according to the word of God, until death separates us, I pledge my faithfulness. And for you, this will be after me. I take thee to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love and respect you as a husband, as described in the word of God, till death do us apart. You have the wings? Sure, sure, take your time, take your time.
as you exchange these rings, let it be to let it be to each of you a constant reminder of these commitments you have made unto the presence of this company and unto God. Thank you. Thank you, Rain. And Boha. Take your hurry with this. Please repeat this once. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. With it, I pledge my loyalty as devotion as, as long as we both shall live. My devotion. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And with, and with it I pledge my loyalty and devotion as long as we both shall live. And devotion and we both shall live. Until you're looking at each other all straight in the face. <laughs> And for as much as you have consented together in wedlock, in the sight of God and this company, and now declare that you are now husband and wife, according to the ordinance of God, and in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Before we present you uh, to this company, we know that uh, your journey has not been so easy, but has been so good. Uh, because no matter what, you have made it. No matter what, you have kept your commitment. No matter what, you have loved each other. And I want to thank you that uh, you have kept your word to her. And uh, as much as you kept your word to her, I know you shall be with her. And uh, you shall you know, take good care of her. All the, best, all the days of our life. And for you, this man, I've seen you grow as a young, young girl in the church and to become a woman. And uh, I am happy as a man of God in this church that you attend to say I'm so pleased that uh, we have seen this day. And I believe that uh, we will see more other days because you've just opened the door for each and every other person. And for the way that uh, you have hanged for you with each other, cherished your love with each other, held together no matter what, through difficulties, what the vows that we took today, you have already lived them. And uh, may God bless you all the days of God. And now I think uh, I don't even want to face everybody else. And, and uh, right now we want to present unto you uh, Mrs. and Mr. and Mrs. Douglas.
Everybody make some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Douglas right now. Yeah. That's right, that's right. At this point, we're going to start the cocktail hour so everybody can start getting to their seat so we can start getting everybody fed. And we're going to have a little, just grab some fun a little later. We just don't smoke it out right now. That in him, they will be blessed with all the goodness and mercy that knowing a life of Jesus Christ will bring to them. And we pray that their lives, their children's lives, will reflect what it is to know him and grow with him. And that they will be blessed in his name. We give thanks on this day for the union of Jasmine and Jerome. Amen. 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 That was great, y'all. I'm going to work it out. Hey, Jayla. Hey, Jayla. 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 We already told you in the back, Troy. Less is more.
First, I just want to say uh, it's been an a honor um, being a part of this. I almost cried when you were standing up there. Um, Darrell, uh, as you know, um, biologically we cousins, but you've been my brother um, my whole life. And you've been there um, every step of the way. Do some of um, my ups and my downs, um, and I'm forever grateful. Um, and I was reminded of um, how how much you played a part in me being here, right? Um, my mother was sharing this story the other night, right? <laughs> so picture this: uh, Baltimore, Maryland, 1989, right? Darrell just born. Um, Pretty fat baby. Uh, and, and despite his head right now, he had a head full of hair. Right? And so, um, <laughs> and if you know Aunt Mickey, right, she just had the Ralph at the time, and um, she about her bag, so she went back to work, right? And she leaves, she leaves the Ralph with, if you know my mother, the family hairdresser, right? <laughs> And so she leaves the realm, my mother, and my mother decides she gets this bright idea to put Borex in his head because uh, his hair was just that thick and he was so cute. Um, and so uh, Mickey gets home and now she wants to kill my mother. And then boom, my mother goes into labor with me. So I, that's how much uh, you played a part in me being now. I told you I'm going all the way. Fast forward, right? We get 17 years down the line, right? So this is Baltimore, Maryland still, uh, let's say 2006, right? Both of us got a head full of dreadlocks, right? You at my house. Again, the family hairdressers doing your hair. And so her, hair, her hands start cramping, right? And what happened? No, 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 close. She stopped doing your hair. And you, we look at each other, and she look at us. And she said, Devin, you want to finish his hair? <laughs> now, this is the symbolism of our love for each other, right? Because we was able to put our differences aside, our pride, our ego, and everything. And I sat there and did your fucking hair. <laughs> now, I don't know who's more suspect, me? For doing the hair, or him for sitting between my legs and let me do it. <laughs> but again, right? <laughs> it just goes to show, man, like, I love you to the core, bro. I always, always looked up to you, man. And I still do, right? Um, and to that, I almost cried, man, just watching you take this step, right? Um, and I know you're a great father, right? And I know you're going to be a great husband. Jasmine, I love you. Raise y'all glasses to that. I would like to say, may your marriage, right, your love and support for one another grow stronger and stronger with every hair follicle that you lose off your head. <laughs> Love you, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna uh, back that one up, but but uh, you know, I just wanted to say, bro, my little big bro, you know, we go way back in the sandbox, getting chased by dogs, getting beaten together. You know, I love you, bro, and I'm proud of the person that you are, I'm proud of the father that you are. You're going to be a good husband on the head. <laughs> One light-skinned brother consoling another. Yeah, we got to stick together, man. Man. Proud of you, bro. 
seen us since middle school when we was uh, not cute at all <laughs> but you know you've been there through us you protected us like our brother so we appreciate you every day for protecting my sister and my nieces and then your niece Selena I appreciate you every day um, but yeah that's all I gotta say I got love for y'all hello everybody I'm Jasmine's younger sister Jada hey Jada I just wanted to say thanks, thank you everybody for coming out today. I know the weather is terrible and a lot of people didn't want to be here, but we're here and we're partying. But, okay. but I just wanted to say, Jasmine and Darrell, I love you so much. Like Jalen said, Darrell, we've known you since, I've known you since I was 14, looking rough. And you just, please don't. And you loved us. You, no, it's 50 cars. You've loved us every step of the way. You've literally been like the best big brother. You always, always, always pushed me to be better, go back to school, and you know, you really pushed me to get a better job and everything like that. I really, 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 truly appreciate you because I don't have an older brother, and you're the only, you're like the older brother I never had, and you've been like that for 10 years. So I'm happy to finally have you officially in our family. Y'all created the most two beautiful babies on this entire planet. Yes, and I love them dearly, and y'all are the best parents on the planet, and I just love you so much. So everybody, raise your glass again. We're taking another shot. Yeah. To Jasmine and Darrell, happy yeah. anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mr. John Smith. And Charlene Smith. That's right, y'all make some noise, y'all make some noise, show some noise, show some noise. Mr. John Smith was in the hospital, so he couldn't be here today, but he was here via FaceTime to watch the whole action, to watch the whole ceremony as well. And also the matron of honor, Jalen Galloway. Okay, let's go with the bridesmaids, okay. Janae Smith. Yeah. All right. Simone Thomas. Yeah. All right, next we have Erica Carroll.
get to the parents of the groom. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, Josie Senior. And Mr. Darrell Douglas Senior. to the groomsmen, their best man, Devin Morton. Yeah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Next up, Troy Wilson, best man. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Light Skin, that guy. Yeah, that guy. All right, now the rest of the groomsmen. We have General Douglas. Terrence Black Holmes. And we got a guy, you know, he goes by the name of Kevin, DJ Academics, John Sainz right here, one of my name. Hey, nobody important. But let's carry on. Okay, so Travis Robinson. some noise for Mr. and Mrs. Darrell. Hold on. To get real busy. 
Jasmine, you good for a second. You good for a split second, Jasmine. Good. Right. So now I need every single guy in the building. If you do not have a ring on your finger, I'm gonna, 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 I
Jasmine's younger sister. Hello. So can I get the bride and the groom? Hello. Hello. Hello.
sorry. I need you to a credit center. Front and center, whoever got caught with the napkin. I'm sorry. That was the real one. We got them all, we got them all, ain't nobody hiding in the background, nobody trying to creep out the back door, nothing just to stop or anything like that. We got them all, all right, cool, so y'all just been invited to start the party. <laughs>
give a fuck. I've been doing that shit for a long time. I'm just saying. So, Mama, tell her what the words say. Tell her what the words say. We gotta use what we got to get what we want. Oh. Oh. What they gotta do? You better leave. Better get her, Ray. You better get her.